guys, my name is Corey Lane Shonder and I'm here to help you get the girls ready for competition season. I know that we put so much time and energy between practices, competition fees, and uniforms, so it's really important that we help finish it off and get our girls competition ready and taking the stage in style. I've put together a few hair and makeup looks to help you. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at info at feelthelab.com. Uh, you could also swing by the front office so they know where to find me. Hi guys, we are here today to learn um, hairstyle number one. I've got Shelly, our fun, fearless um, volunteer. She's going to do this. Um, it's going to be looked down for me. It'll be just a braided top with a nice little teased pony. This one's pretty simple and really pretty out on the floor. Um, these are all just suggestions on the way that I have found it's easiest to style. Um, if you have different hair textures, anything like that, um, just do the best you can to try to get on board with this look. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at info at feelthelab.com. Thank you. Okay, so the things you're going to need today are going to be, um, at first, a regular brush, a teasing comb, some Rock Your Hair or Big Sexy or whichever kind of teasing powder. Um, the Rock Your Hair stuff is amazing. Um, I use it all the time um, when I'm working with clients as far as weddings and uh, special events, that kind of thing. Um, we're also going to be having a day where Rock Your Hair is going to come and join us and you'll be able to purchase it down near the pro shop. Um, we'll have details on that coming out soon. So back to this, we've got our bombshell, big hair, then we've also got the hairspray. Spray it big is my favorite one that they have, um, super awesome. Uh, and then you're going to need your regular ponytail holder and a small ponytail holder. One more product, guys, that's going to help you out after the tease and after the pony is all done is going to be the Rock Your Hair Leave-In Conditioner. This is amazing for when you're trying to brush out those heavy teases. So I'm going to start by taking a section of Shelly's hair here. And you can see I'm going to go about where her ears are and just pull this little section in the front. This is where her braid is going to be. So I'm just taking this section and I'm going to take it down by her ear on one side. And keep in mind on this braid you want to have a really heavy part on this side over here so that it all comes to the side. So I'm just going to take that and pull that down. And then the rest of the hair I'm going to pull back because I'm going to be working with this front piece first. Next, I'm going to take the comb and just kind of brush sideways along her hair. And I'm going to take a spritz of hairspray. And just come right here to go ahead and get some of those wispies out of the way. And then you just want to finish that braid all the way down. You want to take this French braid all the way to the side of her eyebrow and then that's when you break it away to just braid the remainder back. So then I'm going to leave this alone until later. Next I'm going to go back to this hair that we put away and I'm going to start to brush through it a little bit. In my opinion, the easiest way to get a good high ponytail is to have the girls flip over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you stand up for me, Shelly. Pull this chair, flip your head upside down, and I'm going to brush through her hair. Now I'm going to take the hairspray along the back of her hair and spray it. This is going to help get all of those wispies under control. I'm just going to brush through it before I put it into the ponytail. Okay, now with the teasing comb, I'm just going to take, since it has those soft bristles, and slip this hair up tight and right so it doesn't move on that competition floor. Okay, then a few more steps. 
spritz of the hairspray before it goes into the ponytail holder. before you loop the hair through. That's going to help make a nice tight hold and get as many loops as possible for each rubber band. The tighter the ponytail is, the less likely it is to move when it's competition. the V's 
So right through here is where you want to be able to see that little bit of ponytail lift. Just behind the bow. And there you have it. Our French braid in the front with a little bit of a tease in the back.